in this lesson we will discuss about price elasticity of demand. The symbol we use for price elasticity of demand that is E p. It is the degree of responsiveness in quantity demanded due to change in price of the commodity. This shows how sensitive quantity demanded is to the price of commodity. According to law of demand, whenever there is increase in price, quantity demanded decreases or whenever there is decrease in price, quantity demanded increases. This shows an indirect relationship between price and quantity demanded and we also call it the negative relationship. So, in the price elasticity of demand has negative signs. So, signs is negative, but there are some special cases and we uh, treat them as Giffen goods. Giffen goods. Giffen goods are those goods on which law of demand is not operated. And in this case, uh, there is positive relationship between prices and quantity demanded. The discussion on Giffen good is beyond the scope of this lesson. So, for the time being, we only focus on the normal goods. Normal goods are those commodities where law of demand applies. And what is law of demand? That there exists a negative relationship between prices and quantity demanded. So, the sign of price elasticity of demand will be negative for normal commodities. So, far as the degree of price elasticity of demand is concerned, it may be equal to 1, price elasticity of demand can be one less than 1 or it can be greater than 1. It depends on the sensitivity or response of quantity demanded due to change in prices. If the response in quantity demanded is equal to the change in price, then elasticity is equal to 1. Otherwise, it is less than 1 or greater than 1. This we can see with the help of an example and the rule I am going to apply. This is a general rule for the calculation of price elasticity of demand and that is price elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change delta mean change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. So, we assume that change in percentage change in price is equal to 10 percent and resultant change in quantity demanded is also 10, then the degree of elasticity will be equal to 1. If percentage change in quantity demanded is more than 10 percent, suppose 20 percent, whereas percentage change in price is 10 percent, then elasticity, the value of el elasticity is equal to 2 and degree is greater than 1. And if we have response or change in quantity demanded say 5 percent compared to change in price which is 10 percent, in this case uh, this is equal to 0 0.5 and elasticity is less than unity. Price elasticity of demand has negative sign. It has three degrees, less than one, greater than one and equal to one. And this rule is known as general rule to calculate price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity of demand can also be seen from the point of view of a point price elasticity and arc price elasticity. What is the difference between point price elasticity and arc price elasticity? This difference we can understand with the help of a diagram. Suppose we have a demand curve 
on this demand curve we assume a point here let us say point P point A here price is P 1 and quantity demanded is Q 1. Suppose this is price axis and this is quantity axis. When we are measuring elasticity at single point on the demand curve, the concept we use that is known as point elasticity of demand or point price elasticity. The rule that we apply to calculate point elasticity is that E p is equal to slope of demand curve multiplied by p over q and obviously, this p and q is these two points in this uh, example p 1 and q 1 and this is a single point. When we say slope, slope is normally the slope is given and if for those students who know the concept of derivatives, then from the demand function we can calculate the first derivative of demand curve which is which cal which helps us to find the slope at single point multiply by p 1 over q 1. So, far as arc price elasticity of demand is concerned, arc is the average price elasticity between two points. Suppose we have another point which is point B on the demand curve and we are interested to calculate the elasticity between these two points. So, we have P 2 new price and quantity 2 second price. So, this is point B and this is point A. So, this is the area in between A and B where we are interested to find the elasticity. When we have an arc, a segment on a line and we have two distinct points on demand curve, then we use the concept of average elasticity between these two points and the rule that we apply that is equal to E p is equal to change in quantity demanded divided by change in price multiplied by average price divided by average quantity. And this is equal to Q 2 minus Q 1 over P 2 minus P 1 multiply by when we say average price, so average price mean average of P 1 plus P 2 and which is equal to P 1 plus P 2 divided by 2 and average quantity will be Q 1 plus Q 2 divided by 2. So, P 1 plus P 2 divided by 2 all over Q 1 plus Q 2 divided by 2. This is equal to Q 2 minus Q 1 over P 2 minus P 1 multiply by P 1 plus P 2 over Q 1 plus Q 2. Let us see it with the help of uh, one example. For general formula, we assume that um, a percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to 20 percent and percentage change in price is equal to 10 percent. So, E p is equal to percentage change in Q divided by percentage change in price and this is equal to 20 percent divided by 10 percent and this is equal to 2. If we have additional information given that change in price suppose this is increase and change in quantity this is decrease then we can also apply the minus sign negative sign here which shows that this increase and decrease like there is decrease in quantity demand and increase in price, this is reflected with the help of negative sign with the price elasticity of demand. But degree, uh, so far as degree is concerned, degree is nothing to do with the sign. 
So, whenever we are writing degree, we will not sign, we will not say that elasticity is greater than minus 1. No, we will not use negative sign while explaining the degree. So, degree is greater than 1 in absolute term. So, the in absolute term, this is minus 2. So, magnitude is 2, which is greater than 1. So, elasticity is free from signs. Point elasticity of demand, for this we assume some values like P is equal to 1 and quantities, let us say it is 10 and P is equal to 2 and it is equal to 5. From table it shows that proportional proportionate change in price is 100 percent and proportionate change in quantity is also 100 percent. So, elasticity uh, theoretically speaking it looks like it will be equal to 1. So, let us calculate this elasticity. This table is supporting the concept of arc elasticity because we have two points P1 and P2 where P at P1 quantity is 10 and, and at P2 the quantity is 5. So, we should apply the arc elasticity. If we are applying the concept of point elasticity on this table, the result will be misleading that elasticity is equal to slope multiplied by P1 over Q1. Now, slope is the change in quantity demand divided by change in price. So, that is 5 minus 10 divided by 2 minus 1. This is change in quantity demanded over change in price. Multiply by P1 is 1 and Q1 is equal to 10. When you solve it, you get answer minus 5 over 1 multiply by 1 over 10 and this is less than 1. Here we pick this point to calculate the point elasticity. And if I calculate the point elasticity at second point, then you can see the difference. Slope is same 5 minus 10 and 2 minus 1 multiply by 2 over 5. So, here if you solve it, we get the answer equal to minus 5 over 1 multiply by 2 over 5. So, here the elasticity is greater than 1. So, we can understand that this information which is in the format of table where we have two prices and two quantities. We cannot apply the concept of point elasticity by using this component. This component is the calculation of slope at two different points. When we apply the concept of arc elasticity using the formula uh, delta Q over delta P multiply by average price over average quantity, then you will see we will get the same result which is elasticity is equal to 1. And delta Q mean change in quantity which is 5 minus 10 and delta P is change in price which is equal to 2 minus 1 and average price here 1 plus 2 divided by 2 and average quantity here 5 plus 10 divided by 2. I am not writing divided because 2 will be cancelled with 2. So, this is equal to minus 5 over 1 multiply by 3 over 15 and when you solve it, you will get answer minus 1 and in absolute terms, elasticity is equal to 1. When you have more than 1 points given, then, then the appropriate method is the arc elasticity of demand and if we have only 1 point given, then we will be able to calculate point elasticity of demand. So, in the discussion of uh, point elasticity of demand, so sign is negative for normal goods and positive for given good. We are not discussing given goods here because it is beyond the scope of this lesson, uh, but just for the sake of information, I am giving you, I am writing it here. And so far as the degrees are concerned, degrees is elasticity is equal to 1, elasticity is greater than 1 and elasticity is less than 1. And rules, we have three rules. Number one, general rule where we have percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in price. And uh, point elasticity, it is equal to slope multiplied by single point given 
and for arc elasticity when we have two points then we calculate the slope using delta q over delta p multiply by p1 plus p2 over q1 plus q2 so that's all in this lesson thank you very much